Tilta is entering the tripod business seriously now. This is their CT series of tripods, the CT8 and the CT12. You're watching Synity, supported by b &H and CVP. Welcome guys here from NAB 2024. I'm here at the Tilta booth with Nick. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Very well indeed. Um, you guys have had some tripods before, I think. Or are these the first ones from Tilta, actually? There, there have been some early prototypes, but we've never had a full series like this uh, readily available. So this is kind of our first official entry into the tripod market. Amazing. So what we have here is called the CT8 and the CT12. Can you run me through the features of each one of them? Yeah, so CT8 is going to stand for Cinema Tripod 8 kilograms, which is you know, roughly 16 pounds. Uh, this is going to be the more lightweight tripod, also a bit more suited for, you know, kind of documentary shooting, um, anything where you need to be a bit lighter, a bit more flexible. Um, and that payload is going to cover a good amount of, uh, you know, different cameras. Um, it has a drop-in Manfrotto plate, as both of them do, which means it's very easy to kind of get the camera off in documentary situations or just any situation where you're moving, you know, quickly between setups. Um, are you, I see these are telescopic legs, um, that's just for the 8? Yes, correct. So the 8 has carbon fiber telescopic legs. They can spread out pretty far so you can get pretty low. I believe they say it's about half a foot of clearance at the very bottom, so um, definitely pretty low. And the 8 is also one of the smaller tripods I've seen that has both drag for you know tension as well as counterbalance, meaning that you are able to kind of perfectly balance any camera within that weight range, which is you know very useful. Are these uh, the heads and the legs interchangeable or, or you, you buy it as a full set? You can buy it as a set. We're going to have a couple different configurations. Uh, eventually we will be selling the legs and heads separately, but this one is a 75 millimeter bull head and 75 millimeter legs. Okay. Um, you mentioned, oh, and this one I see is a three stage design, right? Like with two levers on each leg? Yeah, yeah, three stages. Um, both of them are actually three stages. Um, just the height is a little bit different between the two. Um, I, I believe this one can actually get a little bit taller, just given the design. So, what's the height on this one? Uh, it, X height. It, it's a little more than six feet. So, yeah, so pretty to half a six feet to about half a foot. You know, uh, six inches. It definitely has a, a pretty wide range of. Uh, Very nice. Uh, carbon fiber, you said. I guess at the bottom we have rubber, uh, little feet, and you can you have spikes as well. Yeah, correct. So it is just these kind of rubber connection pieces and you don't actually have to remove it to activate the spikes. You just rotate it and the spikes kind of come out, meaning that you're able to pretty quickly switch between shooting environments or if you're shooting outside and then need to move inside, it's a little bit faster and you don't risk losing any kind of cover or uh, dealing with the kind of normal, uh, you know, those kind of sliding plates that are on the bottom of most tripods. It's, uh, yeah, I think pretty convenient system for that kind of all weather, you know, adventurous uh, shooting. But it works without a spreader. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It works without a spreader. And that's why you're able to go so low, um, you know, with, uh, with the legs. Um, here we have these, I mean, in all those tripods that we also know from a lot of other manufacturers that uh, you have different stages of like kind of leveling it, right? If you go really low, um, there, there's, I guess there's two or three of those yeah, coming out? I, I believe there's three different stages. So between your normal, your kind of mid-ground, and then the, the lowest. Okay, very cool. So maximum payload, you said on the, of this head, eight kilograms. Uh, what's the minimum payload? Because that's also a question. Sometimes some tripods you cannot use with a super lightweight setup. That is true. I believe the minimum payload is about half that. I think you need around four kilograms of weight specifically to fully engage the counterbalance. That is something they've been tweaking between now and the final production models. Um, so that could change, but I believe it's going to be about half the payload. Um, and similar for CT12, I believe that's going to require about half of the payload. Meaning if you are using a lighter weight system uh, that's lower than four kilograms, we do have a pretty wide range of smaller tripods that I think are going to be better suited. Um, meaning this system is definitely a bit more fine-tuned for the specific camera range you're using at least where uh, you probably would not want to throw a DSLR on our larger system. Okay, fair enough. Let's move on to the CT12 which is the biggest sibling of the CT8. The head is similar with just higher payload or are there any other major differences? 
So yeah. the heads are pretty similar. Uh, with the larger size, you are able to get a few extra settings in terms of drag and counterbalance. Um, it's, they're both going to be 75 millimeter, and they're both going to have the same lock in Manfrotto style base plate, as well as the same attachments for you know the pan handle or any other kind of accessories. Um, the 12 is also going to have an electronic, or should I say, like an LED uh, bubble level. So it is a little bit more convenient uh, if you are shooting, you know, on a stage or any kind of dark environment. Um, but besides that, they are relatively same design, same feel to operate. Very cool. Um, yeah, I see just uh, the drag level, the counterbalance actually goes in steps, which I love because sometimes in some manufacturers don't have steps and you never know where you are. That's nice to have. Uh, but the main difference is between the tripods, of course, it's completely different legs. So what are we looking at here? Yeah, I would say outside of the weight, the legs are the, the larger difference. Um, so these legs are 100 mil uh, bowl mount with a 75 millimeter adapter, meaning you can use both 75 millimeter and 100 millimeter head or heads. And the kind of most unique part of it is it has this single latch, which is going to release all three stages at the same time. So um, it has the mid-level spreader, meaning you're able to still get the legs pretty far, not as far as this one in terms of it can't bottom out at the same. I believe it's about a foot and a half, maybe two feet. Can you remove the spreader? Yes, the spreader can be removed. Um, then you go, can go lower? It, it doesn't have the same same locking position, so you could, but you'd have to maybe go completely uh, completely flat. Um, but yeah, the, the one-touch legs, as we're calling it, are pretty convenient in terms of uh, a single operator can pretty easily adjust the height of the you know entire thing. Just like hand on the top handle, loosen the latches, and lift the whole thing up and down. Um, but again, that could be mixed and matched. You know, this is this is how we are selling it as the kit. Um, but we are going to have a few different options. Um, but I think for for most filmmakers who are building out these kind of medium sized cinema cameras um, and getting to that payload, I, I think CT12 is going to be kind of one of the more popular options. What about pricing and availability of those systems? So we just started taking pre-orders. We're actually running a small pre-order discount, uh, meaning if you order within the next week or during NAB, you can get, I believe it's 10 to 20% off on some of them. Um, the exact information can be found online. However, um, I would say that they, they're going to be shipping in about six weeks, I think was the, the current estimate. Um, and, and yeah, $7.99 for CT-08, and then the CT-12 is just under $11.99. I think it's $11.60. Um, so, yeah, so it's kind of in, in a, and definitely not in the lowest end range in terms of tripods, but I think these are probably one of the better mixes of quality and kind of affordability um, because they, they offer a lot of, you know, professional advanced features that normally you'd find in more expensive systems. Um, and, yeah, we, we've been using them a lot, and we've, we've enjoyed them. So I think you get a lot of bang for your buck with it. Oh, very nice. I mean, one of the main things for me is just having the, f like, one tripod you can use with 75 and 100 mil is worth a lot because usually you end up paying a lot more for 100 mil legs. So it's nice to have that interoperability, even if you have uh, a bigger head from a different manufacturer. So I think there's one little teaser we can give because you're showing something here which is not actually on the website yet, which is an even bigger tripod, right? Yes, that is correct. So we do have a CT25 coming soon. That's going to be 25 kilograms, roughly 60 pounds. That is going to be for, you know, your full-size cinema camera rigs. Um, and that that is essentially the proper bigger brother of the CT12 in terms of features and functionality. Similar legs, these legs are rated for much more weight than the heads can take. So um, the, you are able to theoretically start with a system like this. And then if you have the need, you know, just buy the CT25 head yeah. build up. Um, but yeah, that we are showing now, we're gonna see how people like it. Uh, it has a, a few couple bells and whistles that this one doesn't, but it's more just kind of the tactile feel of some of the levers and switches. Um, that are maybe more familiar to some users who have operated some of the heavier duty, you know, uh, cinema heads. Perfect. Thank you, Nick. Of course, of course. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Cinity for a lot more videos from NAB 2024. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.